Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where it is finally time to take on the Lord of Crags, Titan, at last. Before we begin, uh, we do have a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, just because it is the end of Chapter 3 of A Realm Reborn, if I pull up the PlayStation 5 menu, yeah, uh, 20 minutes left, 95%. I'm pretty sure either this quest or the next one is the last one in this chapter, but this is the last one we'll be doing for now. Uh, as is usual with the end of a chapter of the main story of A Realm Reborn, after this we're going to be taking a break. It won't be immediate. We do have a few more job quests to do before we take that break. Uh, we've got Alchemist level 35, and we can't do Summoner level 35 until we've defeated Titan. So we'll, still, we'll be doing those two after this. And then we have one more side questing episode where we're going to wrap up a bunch of stuff in Eastern Linosia, Upper Linosia, and Outer Linosia. Uh, so we do have a few more episodes before we are officially done with this chapter. Why does there have to be a fate? Oh, it's the one down in the canyon. Anyways, um, so yeah, we do have a few more things to do before we're officially done. But once this chapter of Verona Born is done, so after this coming Sunday episode, I will be taking about a five-week break from the Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play. Uh, just a short five-week break to do two things. One is to rest, recover, and... Make sure I'm all prepared for the next chapter of A Realm Reborn, which will be the last chapter of the base game of A Realm Reborn. Uh, we are moving into the end game, finally, and chapter 4 is when the plot actually begins to happen, so that's very, very exciting. We're finally starting to get out of the world building and into the actual plot. Uh, but yeah, rest, recover. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I want to make sure I've taken the time to make sure I've not overworked myself. Also, during that five-week break, I'm going to take three of those weeks to show the opening story arc for If You Start in Ulda, which is something I have wanted to do for a while. I showed the Gridania opening arc uh, in the last break between chapters, between chapters two and three, uh, the previous chapter in this one. So we're going to be doing that again this time with Ulda, and once that's done, we have shown all the opening story arcs, so that is exciting. But yeah, that's about all the housekeeping I wanted to do. Just since we're end of the chapter, wanted to make sure people are aware we're going on that five week break. Three weeks are going to be for showing the Ulda opening arc. Now, with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and summon Eos. And Real, you are going to tell me how to fight Titan. Real is waiting for you to give him your undivided attention. Years ago, when we was weighing up how to get to Titan, one of our scouts stumbled across the Beastman Aetherite Sea. Uh, this Beastman Aetherite Sea? And what's that look for? Not familiar with him? He speaks of an unamplified Aetherite, but, uh, which has been claimed by a beast tribe. Lest you wonder, there is no fundamental difference between such Aetherites and those which you have used on countless occasions, Satora. Ah, oh, well, thank the Charlian lass. Welcome back. Forgive me for interrupting, I had planned to await your report, but I succumbed to curiosity. The tunnels beneath Ogomoro form a bewildering labyrinth that no outsider has full ever fully explored. How the Company of Heroes managed to navigate it is a mystery I have long pondered. Ha! Give us a bit of credit, love! We weren't daft enough to try going in the front! The kobolds are always digging new tunnels and filling the old ones with traps. One wrong step, and the next thing you know, you've got a hundred tons of rock on your noggin. Suicide to even try, see? Funny thing was, the kobolds didn't seem to have no trouble finding their way around. And it was that that got us thinking. I mean, Ugamaro mines are as like a bleeding city, ain't they? And getting around in a city that big would be a right pain in the arse if you didn't have an ethernet, wouldn't it? So it stood to reason the kobolds must have one, didn't it? Hmm, even if there were etherite shards in the depths of Ogomoro, you would have to needed to attune yourself to them before you could identify their signatures within the life stream. Ah, well, that's where you're wrong, love. We had this Charlian bloke to help us, see? Delivered us right into Titan's bedchamber, uh, bedchamber, he did. I don't rightly know how he did it, but I do remember him saying it weren't nothing any Charlian scholar worth her soul couldn't manage. Did he now? Hmm. Locating a beacon in the absence of a known signature might be possible if the etherites in question happen to be... Ah, uh, yes, but in order to guide a traveler to said beacon safely, a second party would be required to... Hmm. 
It is possible, in theory at least, yet I cannot be certain until I try. Plainly, all will, be, all will depend upon whether or not I am worth my salt. Oh, you are last. Don't you worry about that. Have a bit of faith in yourself. Why? Uh, why don't we all go to Zelma's Run and take a closer look at the Aetherite? It ain't far, though there's sure to be a few kobolds blocking the way. Now you can't handle mine. Alright, since we are heading into a duty, a major duty, we're going to go fight Titan. I'm going to go ahead and real quick, just do a quick filling in of my materia. I've been failing to do that, but I want to make sure I have my materia all filled in. It is never a bad idea to be well prepared going into, especially into a boss fight. So I'll be back in a moment. All right, went ahead and did my materia melding. Just gonna go ahead and quickly scroll through so you can see what I all put in. With Scholar and with most jobs, uh, critical hit is going to be your highest priority. Critical hit's just really good in general, but especially with Scholar, it makes your Adloquium way more powerful. So definitely worthwhile to get some critical hit on Scholar. Uh, since those critical hits are what give you the double shield. Uh, I also, on Scholar, like to get a bit of spell speed. Uh, and then once I've used up all my spell speed materia, I went ahead and did some determination and direct hit rate, because determination gives a flat increase of damage, and direct hit rate is an occasional 25% uh, increase of damage. I didn't do any overmelding because... I need to save up a lot of materia, and I will explain why in the post-game of Realm Reborn. But that's not going to be for a good while. So then, now that I've got that all prepared, we've also got a potion of mind. Do I have any other potions of mind? Oh, I should probably put those extra materia back away. It's fine. Uh, we've got rope in our inventory. Uh, potions, potions. Here we go. High potion, don't need. And I know eye drops. I'm looking for... Mind would be ideal, so that uh, since that increases, ah, potion of mind and high potion of mind definitely want to set that. Uh, but potion of mind should be the uh, should increase mind, which I believe is our yeah our primary stat when playing as a healer. It increases our attack and healing potency when playing as a healer, so we want to get that mind boosted up. So we will probably open the fight with a regular potion of mind, uh, just because I want to use that up since we are now at the point where high potions are more useful. But then if the fight lasts long enough, we'll use a high potion of mind. Okay, you left me alone, good. Okay, we do have some kobolds in the area to deal with, but it'll be fine. We will be perfectly fine. Let's just push through them. I'm gonna keep moving and make our way to that etherite. And more kobold block in the way. Of course we do. You back up. Where's Juniper? Are you still down there fighting the other kobold? I thought you got it. So you are. Alright, well you two have fun chasing each other around. I'm gonna deal with this. And then bust through that, uh... Bust through to that etherite. Here we go. Alright, Yashtola, are you able to figure this out? So this is the Aetherite the Company of Heroes used to gain access to Titan Sanctuary. Hmm, it is as Papalimo speculated. In its present state, this Aetherite signal will not be strong enough for our purposes. I may, however, be able to use my own energies to amplify it. Alas, the task will monopolize my attention for the duration. It seems you will have to proceed without me, Satora. I must needs remain here and supplement this beacon's power, lest you be denied your only path of escape. Fear not, I will summon the Maelstrom forces stationed nearby to protect us. With effort, it is possible that I may be able to stabilize the Aetherite signal and thereby join you, albeit belatedly. Until such time as I do, you'll be on your own. 
Now, let us see if I am worth my salt. I have located another beacon, one far below the mountain. I can only speculate as to what you will find there, so stint not in your preparation. Alright, looks like this will work, and we can now head to the navel. Alright, let's go ahead and I'm going to want to eat some food before we head in, have our stats as buffed up as possible. Uh, let's see, do I have any spell speed food? Anything that increases mind or spell speed? Uh, ooh, I don't think we've got much. We might be out of our caster food. Okay. Let's see, what's second best? Scrambled eggs can never hurt. The critical hit rate is good, especially for a uh, scholar. Uh, what else do we have? Tenacity's tank. I thought the maelstrom was going to come protect us. I am trying to figure out my loadout. Go away, kobolds. At least once they're both dead, I'll have a little bit more time to look through my food. Okay, there we go. Goodbye. What else do we got? Critical, a critical hit plus 10% max 8. That's the same as the scrambled eggs, I think. Yeah. But this gives better direct hit rate and better vitality. You know what? I do technically need to work through my old food. I don't want to let it sit until it's completely worthless. So it's only a slight difference. A slight... Uh, the direct hit rate is much better improved on the mugwort cart. But uh, let's go ahead and use the older food so it, we use it before it becomes completely useless. Scrambled eggs... Let's begin with a party of NPCs with our good old friends, the Scions. Let's do it. Look, an overdweller. Yes, yes, an invader from above. She uses our etherites against us. She has defiled Titan's sacred sanctuary, trespassed, violated, defiled. Overdwellers must leave. Overdwellers must fly. Brothers and sisters, fear her not. Her fate shall be decided by the Lord of Crags. Hear me, Overdweller. You and your treacherous brethren must be held to account for the breaking of the covenant. You shall be first to face judgment. Then Limsa Lominsa and her oathbreakers, liars, betrayers, oathbreakers. O oh, Great Father, Lord of Crags, Titan, we summon you. Titan, we summon you. O oh, Great Father, Lord of Crags, Titan, we summon you. Titan, we summon you. He has come! He has come! The Lord of Crags Titan has come! Overdweller, art thou deaf to their weeping? Thy file kind coveteth ever the blessing of the land and murdereth my children by the score, all in service to greed. Such sins are beyond pardon. Ah, but I am not the first to suffer thy defiance. Thou didst bring Ifrit low. Godless Overdweller, Thy myriad heresies shall not go unpunished. Upon thee shall I wreak a terrible vengeance. And so we begin. Titan is a hard fight that used to be much harder. Uh, big thing to watch out for is, well, we'll just have to get into it as we go through. Starting off, Titan's just going to be really heavy on the heavy hitting attacks. So we're going to probably want to put up that Whispering Dawn pretty quickly. Let's go now. 
We're gonna slowly whittle down Titan's health. I actually already down 10%, so I think we are doing pretty well. All right, Marauder, you're gonna need a shield. A Whispering Dawn's still up, so we should be good for a while on healing. Oh, I need to pay attention to when my uh, Bio 2 wears out. Eventually, Titan will leap into the air and crash down. The red floor will collapse. If you are on it, you will fall and die. Previously, uh, before updates about a year or so ago, uh, if you fell off the arena, you would be completely out of the fight until the entire party wiped. Another ability he has is that line attack, which will shove anyone who gets caught in it completely off the edge to their deaths. Again, Previously, but before they fixed it, uh, if you fell off, you would be dead until the party wiped. So, Titan could slowly whittle down your party if you were not careful. Alright, we're doing another leap. More of the floor is going to break, and that fading, pulsing ring indicates that... The further you are from the center of the ring, the less damage you receive. At about this point in the fight, Titan's heart will be exposed, and we need to destroy it before we can do any more damage. Another ability that Titan has is Granite Jail, which will encase one of our party members in this pile of rock, and we need to destroy it before it kills them. They will not be able to do anything while they're sealed in the rock, obviously. Alright, Titan's heart's about to go down, which means you're going to do another jump. And this time, no floors breaking. And you're just going to do a massive amount of party-wide damage. Got it. The Lord of Crags, Great Father Titan, has fallen! The crimes of the Overdwellers shall never be forgiven, never be forgotten. No, no, never! T'was your kin who broke the covenant. We have acted only in defense of our lands. Seize your aggression, or never will there be peace. Until our dying breaths, we shall defy you. Deny, decry, defy! Now these are the readings one would expect of an icon. I have seen enough. We proceed as planned. Are you sure that is wise, my lord? Your curiosity is untested and unproven. We do not yet know of its true cap uh, know its true capabilities. Then trust in me, Rita. Uh, trust in mine, Rita Team. My curiosity, as you so eloquently put it, would have bested Titan in the blink of an eye. 
Why, if there be truth to the legends, it could readily subjugate the whole of Eorzea given but a little while longer. Is that not so? It is. No greater single power has ever been conceived, much less realized. What you say may well be true, but while such devices may win battles, I do not believe they will serve to change the course of this war. Oh, but they will. Have a little faith, my friend. I cannot endorse this course of action. Fool. And now she has a fourth. Fascinating. Carry on, Crystal Bear. Far though you have come, your work is far from done. And not remain to mark his passing. Well, the Asians are nothing if not elusive. It is of little wonder that they should cast their advan that they should cast advanced teleportation magics at will. But that they would choose to consort with the Empire. What common goal could they possibly share? I fear I, I feared I might arrive too late, but I see you had the matter well in hand. I have taken measures to ensure that we are not pursued, yet I cannot say how long they will hold. Take your leave while the kobolds are still in disarray. I will follow Anon. There is something I must investigate before I depart. I will teleport you to the Etheride in Zelma's Run, and we will rendezvous at Camp Bronze Lake. Agreed? Sounds like a plan. All right, let's get out of here. And back we go to Camp Bronze Lake. Let's get away from these dang kobolds. I'm sorry I killed Titan. I know Libs was not exactly in the right here, but we kind of had to protect ourselves. I will do what I can to get Libs at a chill. Okay, please, 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 please leave me alone. There we go. Hop on the mount. Hop on Juniper. And let's get moving. Back to Camp Bronze Lake so we can finish up this quest at last. Alright, hello there, Yishtola. I am relieved to see you well, but come, let us discuss our, ne our next step. Indeed we will, but that won't be for a while for us. Upper Linosia mount speed has increased. Outer Linosia mount speed has increased. We learned Ruin 2. Oh, thank goodness. I love Ruin 2. Ruin 2 for Scholar. Deals unexpected damage with a potency of 140. Instant cast time. So, it is slightly weaker than Ruin. Costs more MP, but you do not have to be standing still in order to use it. So if you are in a mechanic where you are forced to move, Ruin 2 is your friend. I am so excited about that. Oh, it's going to be so... We're going to have so much more flexibility in combat now. And it's only a 10 potency loss currently. Eventually... Ruin's going to get a lot, lot stronger. Up to 295 potency. Well, let's see. Uh, where is... Ruin 2 will go up to, two, uh, up to 220, it looks like. So, the gap will widen and Ruin 2 will become less effective. But, again, it is specifically for when you're being forced to move around to get away from mechanics or from attacks. Alright. With our fight against Titan concluded... Next time on Final Fantasy XIV, our level 35 alchemy quest. Then after that, our level 35 summoner quest. And then one more side questing episode, and then we go on our five-week break. I will see everyone next time for that.